Wow. First, there was. First, there was um, Gucci Man and his um, wedding that happened. And it's just so fitting that while he's doing this, here comes the album, you know. It's like, are you serious right now? Mr. Davis. Seems like very, you know, a uh, convenient time to promote your album when you're getting married. And I'm here to you. So, I don't know. I just think it's very convenient all this stuff is happening right now. Because now you got another situation brewing. You have the situation where um, you got Offset and he just publicly goes out in front of the whole audience, the whole world, and get engaged to Cardi B, whose real man is locked up. So... <laughs> I mean, this whole thing is just nuts what's happening right now. I mean, if, not to say Gucci Man don't love his wife and nothing like that, but it's like, how much of this is a publicity stunt? Because ever since Gucci got married, this chick, I don't even know what she do or whatever she's done, but now she's got cameras on, she's doing interviews. I'm like, what is this? Is she a rapper too? Like, what is they interviewing her about? I was saying about 45 articles written about this marriage and this wedding. And I'm like, what this this thing is over with now. They married, okay. Let them go on about their business. It's like they are petitioning to get a reality show. So you know that might pop around the corner next. So don't be surprised when you see that happen. Then you have uh, this situation with Offset and Cardi B. When it's clear, you know that Offset is writing the rhymes. He's preparing the stuff for Cardi, and you know, and we know how to ask. So, I mean, how far is this going to go? A, a co collabo album with with Offset <laughs> and Cardi B? It's like, are you serious? This is like the dumbest thing ever. I'm like, he was just hitting on... He was just hitting on... Uh, what's her name? What's the bald-headed chick? They be throwing the slut walks. The one that end up slutting around, the one that stuck with Wiz Khalifa. Anyway, her. He was just lusting after her. <laughs> then he didn't got all these baby mamas. And now all of a sudden, here we go. <laughs> Another publicity stuff. Remember Dage Low and Lil Dirk? Man, that quickly faded, didn't it? She started changing her style up, trying to dress like a lady, and that went left. Nobody's heard back from that publicity stunt. I mean, my goodness. Does this even work? Like, I'm really shocked that they still, like, do this stuff. Like, does this even, like, is it needed? I mean, for Cardi B, yeah, I could see she would need something like this. But if you the Migos, you was writing hits. Bodak Yellow would have been a major hit for y'all. <laughs> y'all have kept that for yourselves. I mean, y'all had the Bad and Bougie success, but without Bad and Bougie, you know, y'all was up against it. The Versace, Versace, Versace money was out. Y'all was back at Burlington Co-Factory. There wasn't no Versace store after that. 
Dad and Bougie dug y'all back out. That money was drying up. They saw how the business really worked and was like, doggone, we got to have to spread out. That's why people are like, man, Amigos as a group, they done. Like, they finna just split up because it made more sense. They see all them hands going in the pot. Too many cooks in the kitchen. But they're very talented. Takes a lot to keep making hits. Can't take that away from them. But this publicity stunt, they didn't need it. They really did not need this. So, I don't know what's going to come out of it, but when you make songs and make hits, this is the kind of stuff you don't even need on your resume. It's worthless. It's what you need it for. Anyway, I'm out.